think the whole university's ethos is getting active and now with the new sport wellness hub it's all bringing it together to create one active campus which is the main driver for the university and Warwick Sports ambition going forward. Being active is such an important and critical part of people being uh, well, both physically and mentally. From the student perspective, they need to have good quality sports facilities across the campus. I think we've got quite an exciting vision, so we have an ambition to be the most active campus in the UK by 2020. It's a really ambitious project, it's got a really unique design element that was done by David Morley Architects and we're really excited to be working with Wilmot Dixon, our construction partners, because they really understand what it means in terms of the quality of the building. So we are in week 21, 22 now of 86. The steel frame is just over halfway up now. The in situ pool, which is an unusual pool because the water level is actually at level one. That's about halfway through so far. This week marks a big milestone when we start the roofing, just ahead of schedule. Warwick University is probably one of the biggest universities in the country. I think having these facilities will make them one of the leading universities in, in terms of their sports. So we have over 65 sports clubs here at the university, so we've got to be able to try and cater for all of those people and all of those students that come to Warwick expecting a first-class experience in a first-class facility. From a Wilmot Dixon point of view, we're up to about 70 or 80 operatives with up to about 20 managers on site with all the supply chain. Um, that's only going to grow to near on 150, 175. And there's one angle we're trying to focus everybody's mind on is the whole wellbeing side of construction now as well. I am incredibly excited to be here at the Topping Out Ceremony for the new Sports Hub. Sport has played such an integral part to every student here at Warwick. And this fantastic new facility is only going to continue to inspire more staff and students as well to get involved, be active and enjoy such an incredible place. We want Warwick to be the most active campus in the UK. Not just an active campus, but the most. And this building is really going to help us achieve that. Today, we've come out here for the topping out ceremony. Walking around the building, we're showing what the future looks like. I think a lot of people have been quite excited by the whole experience. For us, it's that realisation that it's not just a building. It's here for us to inspire people to be active in their way. A building such as this really demonstrates that students at Warwick University are not just defined purely by their academics, but also by what their passions are. Sport is a huge passion for so many of our students here at Warwick, and an investment into such a fantastic building like this only shows to demonstrate how brilliant we are. Everybody wants to play a part in the journey and see what the final creation is. The buzz has started today, and it'll carry on through the journey of the building. The next 12 months will absolutely fly by in terms of the things that we need to do to prepare the building, not just for our student community, but for our local community as well. So progress to date, we're in week 36 of uh, 86. So we've got about 50 weeks left to go. At the moment, we've got the pool completed, we've got the glue lambs erected, and we've got the steel frame around the whole of the building. Uh, the roof is roughly three quarters done at the moment, so we're fairly weather tight internally. We've got the external walls and the external cladding going up, the internal walls going up at present, as well as the M&E started inside. Making sure that the building looks right is really important, so we've got to make sure the quality details are correct, the fixings are correct, all those angles, everything follows that design intent. As you approach the building, you want to make sure they're all spot on because that's what gives you the first impression of the building. I think the thing that blows me away is the vast size of the whole thing. I think just the gym area is, is huge. The first thing that people see when they walk into this space for the first time is how big it is. Past six months, the key things we've had is the specialist installations. As you can see behind me, we've got rock climbing installation, squash courts, and also the, the pool fit out. We have the um, specialist movable floor in the pool. First and foremost, it's making sure we don't take our foot off the gas. And key to that in terms of common milestones are really going to be the filling of the pool. The climbing wall is pretty much there. Sports hall pretty much there now. Squash courts coming together nicely, as is the gym. So it's really just about keeping forward momentum. So now we're in um, the finishing stages, so to speak. So we've got three months to, to the handover, practical completion. So we're going through a process now of inspecting the works with the customer, looking together, more of a fluid process to, to achieve defect free. Yeah, well, what Dexon has been a really positive experience, very welcoming to, to my team in the States office, but also to the wider university team in Warwick Sport. I'm also now thinking deeply about, you know, of moving from the day that 
I accept the keys on behalf of the University from Wilmot Dixon to the day that we are happy to open the doors and, and welcome our members inside. Uh, I've been working within Warwick Sport for coming up to 16 years. Transitioning to this building from the old building, it's really exciting. Uh, with how well the build went in the first place, that's made the fit out up until operation really streamlined. The layout's been really important and as many sports are visible as possible. So as you enter and approach the building, the climbing walls on display looks absolutely fantastic. Then as you look across to the left, you've got the, the squash courts, that's purely visible as soon as you enter the building come through to reception and beyond that you've got the viewing to the swimming pool. So I've been open now for two weeks, defect free on completion which is a huge milestone to achieve. One thing we've trialled on the Sports Hub project is having a dedicated Wilmot Dixon person working with the University Estates soft landings team and Warwick Sport to get this building from completion in March to open in the middle of April. But then the journey really then does begin, you know, it's. 85 members of staff from Warwick Sport but all move in, know their spaces, know how to use their spaces. So we've had a dedicated team here just to make sure any early teething problems are dealt with there and then. Working alongside Wilmot Dixon has been, it's been effortless. It's good to have that reassurance. We've liaised with Warwick Sport staff. Seeing the building come up from the ground and go from flat white boards to seeing the holds actually in place and the students of the university being able to use this has been one of the best adventures of my journey of life so far. We now have an amazing facility which is open to use from beginner to elite. So it's 12 lane, 25 metre pool. As it's currently set up, there's eight lanes that are two metres deep and then we've got three lanes that are currently at a depth of 1.3 metres. That gives us provision for swimming lessons, uh, learning to swim, adult swim, exercise classes. We can have clubs using one section of the pool, but we can still offer a public swim, uh, which I think is a very good selling point. The relationship throughout has been stunning, really. All, all of the parties involved have worked together. That's been the main drive behind the success of the project. And the great thing is now that most of the Wilmot Dixon team are now all members of the Sports Centre. So we've sort of built it, we've delivered it, and now we've got the Wilmot Dixon team coming in, using the climbing, using the swimming pool, the gym. It's just a fantastic story from, from start to finish, really. In terms of feedback, wow, amazing, excellent, brilliant. It's really been thought through. From a building's perspective, it's been absolutely amazing. If you're trying to attract students from all over the world, what better to showcase it than a, a facility like this?